Hello everyone, in this video we will draw and label the scheme of duodenum. The wall of duodenum is subdivided into four layers, the mucosa, submucosa, muscular layer and serosa. For absorption of nutrition is necessary a large surface. There are many structures uh, which increase the absor absorption surface of duodenum. Firstly, there are folds uh, which are formed by mucosa and submucosa. So this is the folds. Uh, secondly, there are intestinal villi. Uh, these are uh, mucosa projections uh, from, uh, from epithelium and uh, loose connective tissue called lamina propria. Uh, they have a finger-like appearance. Uh, each uh, villi contains afferent arteriole, uh, capillary uh, bed, and uh, afferent uh, venule, and uh, blind ended uh, lymphatic capillary. Uh, there are also intestinal uh, gland or crypts of levocrine, uh, which increase also increase uh, the uh, absorption surface. Uh, they are uh, simple tubo tubular glands located between villi. Here. So intestinal glands. Uh, the surface of uh, villi and uh, intestinal uh, glands uh, are aligned uh, by simple columnar epithelium. These cells also called uh, enterocytes. Uh, it's a nuclei. And between the enterocytes uh, are goblet cells with uh, periphery located, basal located uh, nucleus and very pale cytoplasm full of uh, mucose uh, secretion. S mm. uh, the enterocytes have uh, macrovilli and on their uh, apical surface here. Uh, these are microscopic cytoplasmic processes. And brush border is a microscopic visible striation board formed by the uh, microvilli. And the uh, microvilli is the uh, next level uh, of uh, increasing uh, the absorption surface. So beneath uh, the uh, epithelium is a loose connective tissue uh, which form core uh, of the villi. I am drawing uh, the collagen fibers and uh, the last layer of uh, mucosa is a um, uh, lamina muscularis mucosa which form by smooth muscle cells and lamina muscularis mucosa uh, forms uh, the border between mucosa and submucosa. This is the smooth muscle cells with the elongated uh, nuclei. So beneath the mucosa is a submucosa, uh, which is full of uh, the mucosal uh, glands, uh, Brunner's glands. Mucosa cells uh, have uh, basal located uh, nuclei and uh, very light cytoplasm. So the folds uh, of uh, the duodenum is full of the Brunner's gland. And between uh, the uh, mucosal glands we can find a loose connective tissue which forms the submucosa. 
uh, the uh, next layer is a tunica muscularis externa composed of smooth muscle cells which is, uh, which is subdivided into inner circular layer and uh, outer longitudinal layer. Smooth muscle cells uh, in uh, the circular layer uh, is visible on the uh, longitudinal section when we observe the cross section through the duodenum. So this is the circular layer, smooth muscle cells and uh, their elongated nuclei. And uh, longitudinal layer, you can see uh, smooth muscle cells uh, in the cross section. to their nuclei. Between the circular and longitudinal layer uh, of smooth muscle cells you can find mentaric plexus of Auerbach I am drawing it And uh, the last layer of duodenum is serosa. Uh, that means a uh, thin uh, layer of loose connective tissue, which is covered by mesothelium. Mesothelium is uh, one layer, no single layer, uh, of the flattened cells or squamous cells. flattened nuclei. So now describe the scheme. This is the simple columnar cells or epithelium. With goblet cells um, the columnar cells also called enterocytes enterocytes the, the intestinal Villi and between the intestinal villi is intestinal cribs. or cribs of the Berkeen. And uh, the core of the villa is formed by lamina propria, next layer is uh, lamina muscularis mucosae. And beneath the uh, mucosa is a submucosa with mucose glands of Brunner. Muscularis externa the inner circular layer
longitudinal, longitudinal layer and between the circular and longitudinal layer is a, a main trick plexus of Arbach and the last layer is a cirrhosa so that's all thank you very much for your attention